Hey guys, this is GameZone. Welcome to the ultimate guide on legendary gem, how we can measure their value. And I have a lot of stuff to cover up in this video, so I would suggest you stay tuned because this is actually going to help a lot of free to play, mid spender, or even the guys who are actually spending to get some new knowledge so they can spend smartly in future. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get into this. Alright, I know that these 5 star gems actually attract a lot of players into thinking that if they get their hands on them, then they can actually feel stronger and therefore 1 or 2 star becomes obsolete. But that is not the case. Let's say if you have a legendary gem that is 3 quality and at rank 4 then that would mean you will still have the window open to use certain one star gem that are actually still a lot stronger even if your four i mean five star gem is sitting at a rank four with three quality or even four so there are certain one star gems that actually can even compete with the rank 5 4 quality and how i will get into that in order to understand the legendary gem well you need to know this thing that 30 resonance is equal to 1.5 percent damage meaning 10 will give you 0.5 damage boost and if you guys are wondering how do i know that or if it's correct let me just quickly do the math here here i have 910 resonance all right i am going to type that 910 and divide that into 30 so that is how that much is then i will multiply that 1.5 and there it says that what i'm gaining is 45.5 percent damage boost from my resonance and now let's see if that is true 45.50 all right you guys must be thinking that i already checked that so yeah let me just quickly uh, remove few gems here from the socket remove this and remove this one so now i have 610 resonance so let's see how much that would be 610 divide into 30 then multiply into 1.5 that become 30.5 percent damage boost which is now i am getting from the resonance 30.5 there goes so the math is right here and 10 resonance is equal to point five and 30 is equal to 1.5 if you guys have a five star gem that is not actually blood soaked jade bottle hope or sipping bile and that gem is actually sitting on rank five with quality four that would mean berserker eye carson invigoration can actually compete with that gem and if you guys are wondering how let me just quickly do a little math for you guys so let's say if you guys have a howler call or echoing shade or any other gem ex except the blood soaked jade bottle hope sipping bile right that is sitting uh, that is actually quality four sitting at rank five then it is actually competing with it how let me just quickly share it with you guys so 455 resonance is actually 1.5 percent damage boost that you would be getting from five star five rank four star legendary gem and if you have a berserker eye that is rank 10 then 150 resonance is going to give you 1.5 no all right 150 divided into 30 then multiply 1.5 that is 7.5 percent resonance boost that you will be getting from the resonance but what if we see 16 percent attribute in a resonance perspective how much 
would that be? Let me just quickly share it with you guys. If we convert that into a different perspective, which is resonance, then 16 person should be 320 if I am not wrong, but we can confirm that. Hold on. 30 multiply 1.5, 16 person. So that is equivalent to 320 resonance all right so 300 and 320 plus 150 470 resonance and how much does this take to upgrade if you are free to play let me just quickly share it with you guys 196 gem power and five copies of berserker eye and five star legendary gem at rank 5 actually take how much 7 copies and 475 gem power so that actually makes that 1 star berserker eye at rank 10 and holler call or any other 5 star gem except those 3 they are actually toe to toe with one another and let's see how much is 470 resonance is so let's see 470 divided into 30 then multiply into 1.5 that is actually one person more that you would be getting from holler call but the difference is going to be in pvp because 16 person is going to nerf by 66 percent so that is going to leave us with 33 percent which i will calculate later but still how much is 33 i mean with fv i mean not that 66 percent how much would that be let's see let's type 16 here and 33 percent here so that will leave us with 5.2 eight damage output and that should be for us hold on let me see 110 110 110 divided into 30 then multiply into 1.5 5.2 all right 105 this should be 105 if i am not mistaken divide it into 30 then multiply into 1.5 5.25 almost close so yeah that is 105 let's see 150 plus 105 255 resonance that is still the amount of effectiveness you are still going to get in pvp with 10 star berserker i and that is actually not bad if you are free to play all right that is 255 now let's do another math here 450 minus 255 195 resonance difference how much is that let's see multiply into 1.5 Five, you will still have 9.75 percent more damage in pvp with the holler call but in order to get that 9.75 percent more damage you need to have this amount of copies and gem power as free to play or mid spender so if you're a guy who is spending then that is good for you but if you want to do it free to play the best way to go is berserker i and one more thing that resonance also gives you health with the damage boost so yes you will be a bit squishy in one star gems but if you're a free to play guy these one star gems are actually good way to go to make you stronger and in pve you won't feel any difference and they can actually go toe to toe with the five star legendary gem that are actually call it the four and sitting at rank five and if they are below like a rank four and three star quality then berserker eye is far better choice as a free to play player 
So if you would ask me what are the best gem as a free to play players that can actually compete in PvE as well as PvP, I would suggest that go with the Berserker Eye Carson Invigoration Everlasting Torment. Everlasting Torment at rank 10 actually gives you 30% base damage output. It bleeds on critical hit damage. So let's say if you're using Everlasting Torment with the new Paragon tree that is actually the duelist it gives you 10 percent critical hit chance meaning it gets easier to proc everlasting torment in pve or yeah pve i would not suggest that in pvp because gladiator is the way to go but in pve everlasting torment is going to get a lot of benefit from duelist so yes everlasting Torment is a really good gem as a free to play player as well. So these are the three which I would suggest from the one star gem. And then if you want to ask me in two star gems, I would say bloody reach if you're a range class like demon hunter or follower burner. Uh, I mean followers burden for necro. Power and Command might be useful for Necro as well or the Monks since both of them are actually utilizing their primary and skills both at the same time. So they might be able to get more benefit out of this gem but for Demon Hunter this is actually not good. Then Fervor Fang is another good choice for free to play player and if you ask me what are the best gem that a free to play player should focus on then i will only say two maybe not even three blood soak jade it doesn't matter if your blood soak jade is sitting at like three star quality rank three it is still going to be a lot stronger because it is giving you the uh damage multiplier same goes for the seeping bile here it is really strong then bottle hope another really good gem that increases your mobility and works for six seconds but if you want to increase its duration it can work with the v2s r so it can stay for eight seconds and how much would that be effective i will be sharing that to you guys right now let's say hold on let me just quickly do a little math here but in order to do that i have to find out my baseline damage output that what it is so yeah let me just quickly get there and find out my baseline for you guys then we will calculate that but the last time when i checked it was 16k but still i wanted to do it again for this video it's 15 16 15 what is the most number that we are saying let's find out i made few changes so i can say but hold on where are everyone 15 15 yeah 18 16 all right let's take 16 i'm seeing 15 mostly but we'll uh, take the average of 16 thousand all right so let's make our sixteen thousand baseline damage output that is what it is right now and what i am going to do now is actually do another math here you see this this is actually a timer so what i am going to do is count my uh eight second shots that how much i am going to sh shoot in eight seconds so yeah let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen all right that's seventeen that was seventeen hits without v2's arch but i do have carson invigoration so keep in that mind it is giving me 13 percent attack speed also i have family buff that is giving me attack speed so i have a total of attack speed right now which is 10.5 percent 13 from here that makes 24 i think so yeah 
that was actually 17 shots that I was getting and 16,000 was my output all right so let's say 16,000 is my damage output and and let's say rank 4 let's count rank 4 13.5 how much would that be 13.5 so 13.5 is equal to 2160 extra dynamics that we is going to be added with each shot so what we are actually going to do is first let's 2160 multiply by 17 that much is extra damage is going to be added with this 17 shot if we calculate the baseline so that is actually not bad if you ask me but not great either with rank 4 but if you upgrade this more it can be better so hold on 32 that was 32 right now let's say 1600 multiply into 17 now let's plus 32,000 right that's take us to 300k damage but if i had used my uh vetoes i would have had some extra hits as well and if i would have used my vengeance that means i'm shooting two extra shots which works with the bottle hope so that would even do some more damage for demon hunter so bottle hope is actually really good good so yeah if you're demon hunter you can use portal hope and utilize its best with the vengeance because that adds to extra shot to it now there are actually a lot of gems that we can actually go through one by one to see their value but that is going to make a very long video and therefore i am going to leave this link here for you guys so you can actually type down your baseline when you check your baseline then start checking out the percentage for each legendary gem that you are actually interested in and also i uh, explain the resonance and how much 10 and 30 actually give you 10 is 0 0.5 30 is 1.5 and i also gave you guys the way to actually calculate that so you can actually do that by yourself and this way you can be actually more smarter with your legendary gems so you won't spend your money on something that you would not get satisfied later on so this is a really good way to calculate and do your math and then consider getting a gem or upgrading a gem so uh yeah I hope this guide actually helped you and if you guys have any question or you guys want me to uh, calculate some legendary gem make sure that you give me the baseline and the gem and the rank upgrade on which rank you want me to test that on and if a five star gem make sure to mention the quality of that gem as well and if i could i will do that for you so give me the baseline quality of the gem and yeah i will do that also yeah the rank uh, at what rank you want me to check that on so yeah i will do that whenever i can so yeah hopefully this video actually helps you and also give this video a thumbs up as it shows support for my channel and i will see you guys in my next one until then take care have fun and bye guys